Where and when were you born? Uh, in Bosnia, in a town called Sarajevo in 1982. Tell me about the family you grew up with. Uh, well, I didn't have any brothers and sisters, so I grew up pretty much with my parents. Um, and my grandmother, actually, she's been, she was around for a long time. Um, that's about it. Yeah, we had a pretty tight, small family. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your favorite memories from your childhood? Um, hmm. Favorite memories from childhood? Um, well, I was a big fan of um, being around the ocean, so that's what I remember. Just uh, whenever we would leave, because the town where I was born was in the mountains, <clears throat> so we'd come down and go to the ocean. And that was pretty pretty good memories. Um, and I used to play a lot of soccer, so those are my best memories, I think, playing sports when I was a kid. Um, and I used to draw a lot of comic books, so that's what I remember, like, when I was, I don't know, before I was 10 years old, I drew a ton of comics. So I had a lot of fun doing that, so that's another good positive memory. Mm -hmm. um, what memory stand out from school? Uh, that it sucked. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of I wasn't a fan of school, and uh, where I went, the school was different than it was here because you had to like it's kind of like prep schools here. You had to like wear a certain um, uniform for a lot of the school, mm -hmm. and uh, you didn't um, you didn't get to pick anything you really wanted to do, you know, at mm -hmm. all in school. Like there was set set of subjects, um, and it was. Um, I don't know, kind of weird, like you would spend most of the day at school and I didn't like spending the uh, time indoors, I really mm -hmm. liked the outdoors, so being at school was not a good feeling for me. Yeah. <clears throat> I like to actually run around in the forests and stuff. I was having fun in nature as a kid and then whenever I get back to school it would kind of, uh, well, it wouldn't be very good, so. Yeah. Um, what challenging experience did you have in your youth? Uh, so in in Balkans where I'm from in more than one country, but Bosnia was one of them. We had a, a big war that happened yeah. So we had to deal with um, Kind of like now that we're stuck with COVID like when you're stuck in your house for mm -hmm. a long time There's like nowhere to go nothing really else to do. Uh, we had to do that for almost four years Dang. so um, I mean you could have taken a risk and been outside and some some of us did at times But it was risk you could potentially die Mm -hmm. when you're out there. So not unlikely if this virus was like 100% deadly or something, you know, so if you were, if you were to be outside, it would be huge risk. Yeah. Um, so that's what that's what it was for us for like four years. So that, that was like the biggest um, sort of negative, um, unfortunately, experience in my childhood. Yeah. Um, what did you like to do for fun growing up? Um, I like to draw and I like to play sports. So I did a lot of drawing um, and I started in painting and I started with um, just basic drawings of different things and then eventually that turned into comic books. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> this thing is really bouncy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I start, then I started doing comics and uh, after that, um, like once I was past my childhood, I got interested in film. But prior to that, I was really interested just in uh, drawing and um, painting in sports, specifically soccer, and then I played basketball too. Yep. Um, what kind of work have you done in your life? Uh, a lot of filming, so I do a lot of, um, especially documentaries, so doc documentaries about nature, is bulk of what I did, and I mm -hmm. did a lot of portraiture, a lot of photography, some fiction filmmaking, um, but mostly documentary. Because that's that's been, that's been my interest in general is to do um, things related to the environment. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about your family, family life since becoming an adult. Since becoming an adult, um, I don't I don't really have my own family as in like having kids or something. Um, but uh, my my family from my childhood they're living in Europe, mm -hmm. so. Um, I don't have any uh, brothers and sisters here, so I'm pretty much by myself <coughs> in the United States. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, you know I've been in US basically since I was 13, so before I was an adult, and since then, so it's yeah. been like 25 years. Um, 
What are your favorite hobbies right now? Favorite hobbies? Currently playing some games on the, on the phone, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, just because there's nothing else to do, really. So we're all kind of sitting around. Um, and um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I still like to watch movies when I have time mm -hmm. to do that. Um, I still like to do some design. I used to do a lot of design in high school. Mm -hmm. So I like to do that as well. Um, um, yeah, occasionally do some reading. Um, yeah, a little bit of everything. I don't have one set yeah. hobby that I do all the time. But I would say also just going out, out in nature whenever I can. Yeah. Um, what advice do you have for future generations? Uh, to really care about the environment. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't start, start really caring about the environment, it's going to catch up with them. And the weather changes. And the climate changes are going to uh, result in some really difficult times potentially um, mm -hmm. from rise of the sea levels to which could you know flood large sections of Los Angeles uh, to um, impacts on food because our food's gonna freeze when Arctic winds come down um, to a lot of refugees that have to leave the countries we're in because it's too hot mm -hmm. it's unlivable so there's gonna be many many problems that will result from uh, falling apart of the environment. So the younger people have to basically put all their energies or as much of the energies as they can in trying to fix what's happening with the environment because the older people suck at, frankly, at understanding how bad it is. Mm -hmm. And they, they have done nothing to really um, make any significant changes to how we live in order to better the environment. So it's gonna be on to the young people to really um, take charge and 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 set the um, human straight you know as far as how they live yeah. and what they do so we have to get rid of gas cars and you know get electric cars going and we have to uh, not have a lot of these industries that we use now uh, because they're gonna basically cause so many problems for us later on that it's not gonna matter yeah. um, so basically young people that's what that should be their singular focus if all the young people can get together and focus on one thing it should be the environment uh, because it's gonna impact them the most like there won't be any jobs and opportunities in, in, in and potentially it's gonna be very difficult to uh, live in parts of the of earth in their lifetime yeah all right thank you yeah awesome.